So everybody, we're here with the commissioner of the WCC conference. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yep. So I know that you were working with the NCAA in Indianapolis for 16 years. How was that? Wow. <laughs> How much time do we have? Uh, it, it was great. It was a great experience. You know, I started my professional administrative career at the NCAA and uh, the 16 years I spent there kind of moved up the ranks and the perspective from being a former student athlete to then being at that level of national policy making and working with the NCAA membership was a tremendous experience. So uh, why were you excited to go from Indianapolis and come out here west to the Bay Area and start up your new job? Well, one of the reasons, obviously, is the sun. <laughs> yeah. Indianapolis right now, Midwest, you know, I, I grew up in the Midwest and spent a majority of my career there. Specifically for the West Coast Conference, it was very purposeful on my part and intentional to come to the West Coast Conference as opposed to another conference office because of our schools, because of the values-based uh, institutions that we have and our commitment that our, the commitment that our schools have to the development of the student athletes. So I know you were talking about a few of your goals that you had as being a commissioner. That's why I wanted to ask you, what is the average day like for you and the things that you have to oversee every day? Sitting in the chair, you kind of have to have a sense of everything that's going on within the conference while also understanding what's happening at the national level so that we can best serve and lead our institutions in the conference. So it's a little bit of everything, no day's the same, but that's one of the great things about the job. I work in college athletics because I, that's, as I said before, it's a way I feel as though I can give back and really try to find ways to provide those positive experiences for people like yourself and other student athletes. I know you just talked about it, but is there one thing that you want to be known for as being the commissioner of the WCC conference? I, I'd like to leave a legacy that we, we did, we provided the, the, greatest, ex, the greatest experience we could for our student athlete. Obviously the experience you have at Santa Clara, part of that is what Santa Clara is able to provide for you and your teammates and other student athletes here. But we also have a role within that as a conference, whether it's through our championships, it's through the other sport administration things we do and, and put together that postseason experience for them. We have a responsibility and obligation to provide that great event and make it special for mm -hmm. our student athletes. Well, it sounds like we're in good hands. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so I know we were talking about how you played at Kansas State earlier. Uh, I heard that you were a captain on your team, is that right? That's right, I was. That's, that's pretty good right there. What would you say you were known for oh, gosh. on your team? Well, in my, in, in, for my, personally, I thought I was going to be known for, for being a scorer. You know, I came out of high school. I grew up outside Cleveland, Ohio, and my senior year of high school, I was averaging close to 30 points a game. So I totally had in my head, you know, I'm going to go in. I'm just going to keep shooting. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I never met a shot I didn't like. By the time I got to my senior year, in which we had a new coach, he was, he was, who's actually Brian Agler, who's now the head coach of the Los Angeles Sparks. Um, he basically sat me down and said, hey, this is what I need out of you. I need you to be the screener. I need you to play good defense. You're not, you're going to end up playing, you know, against players that are bigger, taller than you, but you're going to be just as strong, if not stronger. And, and you're going to basically get your teammates open to score. That's a complete 180 yeah. <laughs> of the mentality when I walked on that court as a freshman thinking that I was going to continue to be the scorer. So um, I like to say I ended up being the enforcer. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, that's still good. You know, every team needs one. And now that I found out that you scored 30 points a game in high school, uh, if we were playing one-on-one -on -one right now, what would be your go-to move to, against me? That's kind of hard for me to answer because I know you're so much quicker than I am. A little physical, you know, mm -hmm. push you off a little bit, shoot over you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'd have to say I've had to face a lot of that this year, a lot of physicality. And so, I, you know, I think I'm going to be able to, to overcome it, but we'll see. Uh -huh. If I had to choose a move, I'd probably say step back, go into my left and shot. Because that's, you know, that I've been doing that since that's I was just, in high that's school. That's the signature move It's right a there. signature move. Uh -huh. With conference play starting, the schedule has been a little bit different. Student athletes in our conference aren't able to get the chance to go home for Christmas, or if they do, it's only for maybe a day or so. Uh, are you guys looking to change that in the future? You know, we have a variety of things that what we call scheduling guidelines that come into consideration here. Um, it, and those are things that range from, you know, we have a travel partner model within, we have 10 institutions, so we have five travel partners. and. With that travel partner model, uh, that's in place as a way to help mitigate costs as, as our institutions are traveling throughout the western region here. Then on top of that, we play Thursday, Saturdays. 
Then on top of that, you look at when our conference championship currently takes place and you start to count back. And we have the desire, which is appropriate desire to try to avoid finals mm -hmm. when that's taking place at the end of the um, fall quarter or semester, whatever the case may be. So when you start to put all that stuff together, we've been faced with the situation of um, starting the conference season before January 1, and then that kind of pushes right around that yeah. holiday period, the Christmas holiday period. At the end of the day, I don't know exactly where we're going to end up, but we're having the conversation because we need to make sure that as a membership, as our 10 institutions, that we have a consensus of what, how our conference schedule should be put together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, the reason I ask is because, you know, me coming from Chicago, living far away, I know it's, it's really hard to make that flight back sometimes. But I think uh, the transition has been easy for me because of, you know, the comfort of my teammates and the comfort of my coaches' families, being able to spend time with them during the holidays and also uh, thankfully having the chance to a lot, having my parents come down and visit me. I remember one year when I was at Kansas State that I left my parents' house mm -hmm. outside Cleveland, Ohio to go back to Manhattan, Kansas at 10.30 on Christmas morning mm -hmm. because we had practice that we had practice that night and we had a game on the 26th. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's hard, it's part of like on the one hand, that's, that's kind of that time period is when basketball takes place, but on the other hand, um, you know, we're trying to balance the academic side of it and then also the time with our families around that period, which is so important. Mm -hmm. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of points that need to be discussed and there's, there's going to be some um, concessions that we have to make, but we want to make sure we have that deep dialogue and, and everyone's comfortable with the outcome. Mm -hmm. So Commissioner, with all the changes at the NCAA convention, what can I do as a basketball player in the WCC conference to help with its future? So within the West Coast Conference, you know, we have a student athlete advisory committee. We've been talking to our presidents about how we can engage them in different dialogues with our student athletes. And I think that would be a tremendous uh, thing for you and, and some others is to make sure that you have that access to our presidents and to others so that you can kind of talk about the great things about your student athlete experience, but also some things that you wish would be different. You know, uh, one of my teammates, Andrew Popofus, one thing he tells our whole team is leave your jersey in a better place. And he says that just for our team, but I think it could be so much bigger than that with what you're saying. So I think, you know, we all want to leave a, a, a better place for the people that are coming after us in this conference. So. Yep, your own legacy. You asked me that question. Yeah. <laughs> I have to ask you my signature question, just like I ask everybody else. And that is, what celebrity do you think you look like? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't even know this was the signature question. How did I not know this? This is the big one. And oh I'll, give you, I'll, let, I'll, let, I'll give you some background on me. You know, a lot of people say I look like 50 Cent, Morris Chestnut, uh -huh. the actor. Uh, I've heard from family members and friends just that we kind of look alike. So those are the two that I go by. Um, let's see, for me. Gosh, maybe in some characteristics of a Helen Hunt, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm a combination, kind of a, a combination of a, several different celebrities. So you can't choose one, it's just I can't, I can't choose one, I'm probably different, uh, di parts of different ones. Okay. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's interesting to know, you know? Nobody can duplicate you. <laughs> <laughs> So Commissioner, just wanted to say thank you for joining me on my beautiful campus. I really enjoyed the pleasure of getting to talk with you today. Thanks a lot, I enjoyed it too. It's interesting to hear. Well, hopefully through my life, I'll gain more coaches throughout my you, journey. You will. And I'll be able to come back and tell you that one day. I'll look forward to that. Sounds good. So Father, we're here at the Mission Church. And this is the only mission that's on a college campus, that's, okay? That's in the whole state of California. 